<laughs> it's not Chinese New Year, neither is it anyone's wedding. Roasted sucking pig in Singapore is well known as an auspicious dish during the Lunar New Year or Chinese wedding banquets. But Italian chef Michele Pavanello has other plans. His signature dish, crispy sucking pig lacquered with black locust honey, gives an Italian twist to this tasty Chinese dish. His aim? To one-up the Chinese version. What we got here is um, by far one of the most appreciated dish for Singaporean and non-Singaporean. I did my version of uh, suckling pig. I mean, it's an Italian, Italian dish anyway. Uh, it's been uh, eaten, suckling pig has been eaten in Sardinia and in uh, Emilia Romagna. And this is my version. It's just that I wanted to go one better of the Chinese version. The reason why I tried is because uh, Chinese suckling pig usually concentrate a lot on the skin. The skin has to be crispy, whatever else, doesn't matter. So I had it before, and yes, the skin is crispy, tasty, and whatever you, but then again, meat-wise, there was nothing there to eat. Mine, I will try to, I tried to, to make it like crispy on the skin mm -hmm. and succulent on the meat. Succulent pig is the main ingredient, of course. Yes. It's been cooked for 12 hours. 12 hours? Yes, the fats have been cooked, everything has been cooked. But it stays, it remains, uh, the texture remains there, you know, and uh, it's all nice and so soft. The moisture has been sealed. Yes, precisely. Okay. I do a reduction with uh, locust tree honey, balsamic vinegar. Okay, that explains so, the dark color. Yes. Okay, here we go. Light. So first you crisp the skin. Yeah. The larger side of the work is actually to cook it for 12 hours. I mean, it's... Most of the work is done there. Oh, it's browning already. Yeah. I'm using the whole uh, curve of the pan in order to crispen up evenly. Yeah, because the skin is kind of curved. It's hard to cook yeah. it on a flat surface. Pat it dry a bit, like a painter. Paint the glaze. Mm. I'll let it rest for a while. Dress my salad. Toss it for Toss. a bit. Yeah. Now, to the fun part. Marino latte con riduzione al balsamico e miele da caccia. Our title is always so long in, in, in Italy. Because we like, uh, our food is like a poem. So you have a, a poem for its name. <laughs> of course. Oh, look at that. Your second pig. It's calling out my name. Yeah, well, um, a lot of people have been called. I try to change the a la carte menu mm -hmm. and by demand I was not supposed to take out this. Oh, so you're not allowed to change it because no. people love it too much? Well, uh, by, by far it's one of the best uh, sellers in the a la carte. Let me try this, huh? Your way of slow cooking that, that, that pork is really... It's so soft and so moist and even the fat doesn't taste fatty anymore. It just tastes like it um, melts in your mouth. It's meaty. Can you hear the crunch? Mm. Mm. <laughs> As a chef, have you been in restaurants in various parts of the world? Well, uh, I've been, I've been travelling since I was 19. I went to work on a cruise ship, so I was doing the Caribbean, Mexico, uh, US, in, uh, in England. I worked in South Africa. Tell us, what was the very first Singlish phrase you learned? Faster la, faster la. <laughs> Oh, this is actually the Singapore mindset. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Everything, Everything never mind. Slow cook, 12 hours. No, la, no, faster, no, faster, la. faster, faster, faster. <laughs> and that was the, one of the first, first things that I learned. You know, uh, kind, of, kind of funny now mm, after, after eight years. But, you uh, know, only I, after eight years. It no, to be no, no, no. As, 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 in, as in, you know, I understand now the culture. Yeah. You know, I understand now the culture. And one thing that I can say is 
a good thing and a bad thing at the same time, you know. Uh, mainly because I see people eating so fast, you know, and inside my mind I think, how can they enjoy? By the time you, you develop the taste of one dish, you are in with the other. But then again, I believe after, I mean, a lifetime, you learn how to appreciate the taste, even, even if you eat fast, you know, but it's okay. I mean, you, that, you know how the Chinese eat, right? We eat like with a lot of dishes together. And pick, yes, pick, 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 pick. So you like get a changing, varying yeah. taste all yes. the time. Yes. So tastes get rojak in your mouth all the time. Yes, 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 yes. That's <laughs> There's a time and place for rojak, wouldn't you say? That too is a popular local hockey dish. There's nothing rojak at all about Chef Pavanello's suckling pig dish with its uncomplicated, distinct flavours which shine through. And oh, this isn't the only dish that shines at Otto Ristorante. You can't go without sampling some of their signature desserts.